everyone let us discuss this example in this example we have a vector field f which is defined as f of x y z is equal to x square minus x y and 1 we have to find the value of line integral of this vector field along a given path what is a given path the path is a parabola okay it's a parabola in r3 three dimension okay it is z is equal to x square y is equal to 0 uh, that parabola is defined with the help of these two equations and actually it's a part of parabola which is from minus 1 0 1 this point to this point okay so let us find its parameterization that means we have to convert a complete equation only in one variable okay so for that i'm going to put x is equal to t putting x is equal to t then what will happen sorry x is equal to t so z is equal to z is equal to x square we have if i put x is equal to t we will have z is equal to t square they have already given y is equal to 0 that means now we have expressed x and z in terms of t and y is a constant which is 0 after that we are interested in limits also so here you can easily see x varies from minus 1 to 1 getting x varies from where to where minus 1 to 1 y varies from 0 to 0 and z varies from 1 to 1 so here x varies from minus 1 to 1 but we have x is equal to t so therefore t also varies from minus 1 to 1 so with the help of this information we can find easily find parameterization of a given curve c okay so let me write it here we have some space let us use it then then parameterization of given curve of given curve is uh, we will de denote it by alpha which is defined on close interval minus 1 to 1 since we have t varies from minus 1 to 1 so that's why i have defined alpha on minus 1 to 1 codomain is r3 obviously since we have regions in r3 defined as defined as alpha of t is equal to x what is our x t getting y what is y y is 0 so i should write 0 here and z what is z t square so alpha of t is equal to t 0 t square so after having a parameterization we find alpha dash of t we will find f of alpha of t let us find those values so let us find alpha dash of t then alpha dash of t that means simply we have to take derivatives of each component derivative of t is 1 derivative of 0 is 0 derivative of t square is 2t so we got alpha dash of t let us find f of alpha of t f of alpha of t this is equal to f of alpha of t its value i should put it here so t 0 t square after that f will operate on that bracket it's t 0 t square what is definition of f let us follow it here x square that means square of first component so what is square of first component obviously t square minus x y so product of these two but zero into anything we will have zero so the second term component will be zero and last component is one which is fixed and it is constant so i should write one so let us follow the definition of line integral of vector field and we will find its value then let me mention integration of f over c is equal to c uh, c has a parameterization alpha which is defined on close interval minus 1 to 1 so limits of this integral will be minus 1 to 1 definition says f of alpha of t right alpha dash of t dt so this is equal to integration minus 1 to 1 inner product f of alpha of t just now we have calculated its values t square 0 1 let me write it here t square 0 1 comma alpha dash of t its value is 1 0 2 t okay now simply we have to find the value of that inner product and we have to solve the integration so you know well how to find the value of inner product first component into first component plus second component into second plus third component to third okay so let us do that make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us solve it further so this is equal to integration minus 1 to 1 right see t square into 1 we will have t square plus 0 into 0 0 plus 1 into 2t 2t two two dt now we have to integrate it so integration of t square is t cube by 3 integration of 2t 
Integration of t is t square by 2, 2, 2 will get cancelled and we will have t square only with limits minus 1 to 1. Let us put upper limit 1 by 3. Here if I put 1, 1. Now I will put lower limit minus 1. Minus 1 cube is minus 1 by 3 and minus 1 square is 1. So 3, 1 by 3 and minus minus plus 1 by 3. So we will have 2 by 3. Okay. And this plus 1 and this minus plus 1 will get cancelled to each other. So therefore value of uh, line integral of vector field f over this curve c is 2 by 3. So make screenshot of it then we will stop. Thank you. Bye bye.